Well, hello everybody. My name is Speak. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I currently have no vlog topic, but it is 80 degrees outside right now, which is blowing my mind because it's been so cold. And I'm having a little bit of trouble processing this actually. So I thought I'd intro a vlog anyway, because I have no idea what I'm going to be doing on the way home. I don't even have a topic, but here's the intro, stuck at a stop sign. And I don't care, because I'm about to sweat, and that's kind of amazing, considering I've been freezing for the past few months. Make sure I still have oil. Did an oil change. Hopefully it's not leaking out. There's too much traffic! Y'all are ruining my ride home. 4.15. You people shouldn't be off work yet. I think they're all playing hooky. I'm still wearing my winter boots though, so I'm a little warm down there. Wow, what a line of cars. Hmm. It's so nice. I mean, I basically feel like I haven't ridden for months at this point with it being so warm and so nice out. It's amazing. The funny thing is that I pretty much have not stopped riding since uh, I got my bike back in uh, last July. I really haven't had to slow down for winter at all. I mean, I've definitely ridden a little less, but. I know there's folks in certain areas or whatever, or well, even in this area, they probably have their temperature thresholds and stuff, and I pretty much don't have a temperature threshold. I just put on more gear. Um, but I know there's people in areas where it's just absolutely not feasible to ride, um, so they go ahead and put the bikes up for a few months. And uh, man, that's gotta be rough. I am thankful to be in a relatively neutral area. I mean, we definitely get some snow and bad weather and ice and stuff here, but it's not, not like the Great White North, that's for sure. Yeah. That's an old school bus. I haven't seen one of the old flat buses in a while. Not around here, anyway. Those were gone before I got into school. So, I did a little bit of maintenance on the bike at work today. <clears throat> kind of snuck that in in between working on stuff and uh, just did an oil change and check the tire pressure but I really do need to clean and lubricate the chain again and um, my clutch is kind of squeaky squeak so I need to get that taken care of as well I'm not sure if this car in front of me is a detective or not so I don't think I'm gonna be taking advantage of the passing zone that's up here you know just in case oh irrelevant Get out of here, bug. Look, I have my summer gloves on now and I can actually feel my controls. Like, I can tell I'm gripping the handlebar. With the old snow mittens that I'm wearing, man, I can't freaking feel anything. And I'm only wearing one pair of pants. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Well, that sucks. I don't know where I'm going now, but I'll follow it. Maybe I'm learning a new secret way. But yeah, yes, I am wearing one pair of pants. That's good. Oh, 35. Dang it. Because I thought if I was only wearing one pair of pants to begin with and then wore one less pair of pants, that, that that could be a problem. Well, wouldn't be a problem for me. To be honest, it'd be pretty comfortable right now, but I don't know how safe I would feel not wearing my riding jeans while I'm on the bike. It's kind of like riding around in the car without your seatbelt on. It just doesn't feel right, you know? I mean, at least for me. So, riding without gear on, eh, I don't know, it just uh, makes me uneasy just thinking about it, you know? Something that's been pretty awesome about having the motorcycle is that I explore so much more than I did because a lot of times I'm just going out to ride for the purpose of riding and I have no real destination. I'm going out trying to record a vlog or just going out for enjoyment or, you know, whatever. And uh, I've learned so many little tricks around Durham that I've lived in for a long time and you know, roads that I just never went down before and didn't think about and stuff like that. And it's, it's pretty awesome. Learning shortcuts for different places and just, you know, where things, you know, come out and go and whatever. And that's pretty neat.
Let's do some spamming. Hey man, do you watch YouTube? Yeah man. I do, I bet, do uh, YouTube videos and stuff, motor vlogs and stuff like that, yeah. if you want to check it out. I'm looking for a new one anyway. Oh yeah? Cool man. Alright. Yeah man. Have a good one. Just like that. Like no one would even notice. You just kind of slip in there and give it to them and slip on out. Aw, you got things open. Oh, it doesn't work. I appreciate it. Oh, I tried. All right. He knew what I was trying to do, but it doesn't close. Oh well. I still get points though. I was thinking about how like we're when we when we do YouTube videos, you know, like depending on when you film and then release, you know, it, it can be kind of weird. Because you can get like ahead of schedule. I mean, if you're riding several times a week or filming several times a week, it doesn't matter what it is. And, you know, you don't upload that many times a week, you know, uh, or you get multiple vlogs or, you know, whatever in one shot, you know, or in one ride. Like, you can get way out of order. So, like, you can be editing from something from a couple weeks ago that you're going to release from a week from now. But maybe you record an intro or a voiceover for it now. I mean, I swear, it's like a freaking inception or something like that. It blows my mind. I'm having trouble keeping up with it myself, and I've, you know, just started scratching the surface of YouTube, you know? What's got to be really weird is that if you're, you know, shooting something several months ago about an announcement for now, and uh, then you release it, and yeah, I don't know. I, I can't even follow myself. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Never mind. I guess what prompted me to say that was that I don't know when I'm going to release this video, but in real life time, next week, I'm going to be going to a Suzuki demo day at one of the local dealerships, which is going to be real nice, and I'm very excited about that. But this video could be released either before or after that, so I don't really know. So I don't know how to announce that. Do I say in a couple weeks or last week? I don't know. I mean, might as well shut it off, right? Enjoy some peace and quiet.